All right. Now, joining me now to talk about all this, and it's quite a, quite a hatful, Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Senator Blackburn, welcome back to the show. We appreciate it. Um, sure. Let me just, let's go to the border first. Uh, sure. Chuck Schumer wants to talk about Ukraine. First of all, I think it's overly simplistic to say more money to Ukraine will win the war and no less money will lose the war. I think a lot of people would doubt that. But he doesn't want to talk about H.R. 2. He doesn't want to talk about truly closing the border. He doesn't want to talk about changing the whole asylum system. He doesn't want to talk about remain in Mexico. So to me, ma'am, that's the obstacle in these talks. And I don't know, where do you see all this? And I agree with you because he could solve this. What Republicans are saying, it is our border first and secure our border. Then let's talk about these other issues that are out there. But if you're going to do a national security supplemental, shouldn't we be first? And when you look at the numbers that are coming across our border, when you look at the millions of people that have come under, uh, under Joe Biden's watch, when you look at the terrorists, 279 known terrorists that have come into this country under President Donald Trump, a couple of years we had zero, and then another year we had three. And then you look at these numbers, when you look at the thousands of Chinese and the Russians and the Afghans and the Iranians and the Pakistanis that are coming to the southern border you realize this border has to be secured because right now it is wide open and people think they can come here, they can get in. And Larry, not all of these people wish us well. You have so many of them that are attached to cartels, they're attached to gangs, they're attached to terrorist cells. And when the FBI director says everywhere he looks he sees flashing red lights, then you know our threat assessment is high, as high as the FBI director says it is, that the worry is extreme because everyone is worried about this, but this administration, they are not wanting to, to secure this border. They're willing to leave it wide open and leave our nation vulnerable. So we had Senator Langford, James Langford, on this show. Yeah. Uh, and he talked a lot about these matters that you're raising. But what I gather is the de Democrats have given this to Senator Chris Murphy, uh, an ultra liberal from Connecticut. And Langford's not, there's no music there. There's no uh, magic there, yeah. and there's no deal there. So we're just not going to have this um, foreign, uh, uh, foreign affairs funding bill. I mean, that's what I gather. It's not going to happen. Well, and the House is going home, as you reported. They're leaving here on Thursday. And it appears that we are just so far apart on how to proceed on this defense supplemental. But why would you give money to Ukraine for their safety and secur security without first tending to our border and the safety and security of our citizens. It makes no sense. So Republicans are holding strong on this. Senator Langford is right now meeting with Homeland Security and the Democrats, and they are trying to find a way forward. But we have to have money on the border for security, not for processing, not for beds, not for giving them flights to other cities, but for securing this southern border. The thing we need to do, put that barrier up, build that wall where you can't have a wall, give them better technology. That's what Border Patrol has been saying for about 30 years. That is what they need in order to secure the nation. Um, just to switch gears slightly, somebody that I'd like to see go home is the Harvard University president, Ms. Claudia Gay, all right, who um, yeah. did not distinguish herself a week ago in the House hearings uh, with Elise Stefanik and others. Now, I, she apparently is going to survive. Uh, Harvard Corporation is going to stay with her. But here's what I, I don't, stuff in the papers yesterday and today, Senator. The issue of plagiarizing has come up. And in the official announcement, this just kind of blows my mind. In the official announcement by the Harvard Corporation, I guess it was, 
they're saying that all is good. Uh, Ms. Gay is going to, you know, she's going to oppose genocide. Uh, Israel, uh, she's going to oppose anti Semitism. She's not going to allow this business about uh, calling Israel genocidal, which Harvard has yet to prove because they ranked last among the large universities for free speech. But, right. but just listen to this. Last Tuesday was the congressional hearing where she bombed. Now, on Saturday, December 9th, they suddenly discovered this plagiarizing scandal. Okay, and then it goes on to say there's a few instances uh, of inadequate citations, and they had this analysis. Nobody knows about this. Nobody's seen this analysis. But anyway, she's somehow proactively, it says, I would say retrospectively, ch uh, making changes in the citations for her PhD uh, thesis and other written work. Now, this just strikes me as totally phony. They're trying to whitewash this whole scandal. People whose work she plagiarized are now popping up everywhere about this, and they're still sticking with her. And I think this is just destroying any credibility Harvard may have, or maybe they lost it all, and this woman. And why are they staying with her in the first place? She bombed in the Congress. She, she then tried to change her whole uh, standing. They don't allow free speech at Harvard, number one. They just discovered free speech. They won't stop anti Semitism. And she's a plagiarizer. And now suddenly they're allowing her to make changes on stuff she plagiarized years ago. I don't get this, Senator Blackburn. This is not what normal people go through. Well, it isn't, and they're sticking with her for now. But you're right, her performance in front of the committee was miserable. I really give Congresswoman Elise Stefanik so much credit for how she handled that hearing and the things that she revealed about these university presidents. And if you're not going to call out anti Semitism, then that is a problem. And of course, many Many of the large donors and those that have given to the endowment at Harvard are speaking up about this. And Larry, Senator Jackie Rosen in our last month passed a resolution through the Senate condemning this anti-Semitic activity on college campuses. And when you have bipartisan support for that in the Senate and you have someone who is struggling to hang on, I think it's just a matter of time before they cut her loose and they begin to look at what they're losing because they are allowing this activity to continue. And many of these large donors are going to close those checkbooks and withdraw from funding some of these activities at Harvard. And I think they're whitewashing this plagiarizing scandal. Remember Joe Biden, years ago when he first ran for president, plagiarized a uh, speech from Neil Kinnock, the British Labor, and he had to resign. He had to stop, pull out of the presidential race because he plagiarized his speech. Plagiarizing is a very bad thing in these universities. You can't, you just can't do that. And they're whitewashing this, and I'm, it's right here in their press release, and they still don't want to do anything about it. Anyway, we won't solve that today, but Senator Blackburn, thank you ever so much.